I'm gonna show you how to do the three types of free kicks and they are as follow. Dipping free kicks, curl free kicks and knuckleball free kicks. If you're new here, please subscribe. I am Shark Gaming and I do pest mobile videos. Now let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> For the best execution of dipping shot free kick and knuckleball free kick you actually need players who have the dipping shot trait or the knuckleball trait. So you have players who actually have both so it all depends on the positioning and the speed of the swipe that really determines which one or you know, which type of free kick that occurs. So certain players who can do both are like Marcus Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo, Pogba and then you know all they have to do is just look at the certain traits that players have. So as I look at Paul's goals here, it's quite obvious that he has the knuckle shots but doesn't have the um, the dipping shots or he can do knuckle shot free kicks. If I look at Beckham, Beckham can show me that he can do he can do knuckle shot but he cannot do dipping shots. So how to do dipping shot now? The dipping shot one now is, is different. So for this one now, you want to position yourself properly and then you want to draw a straight line. You want to be over where you see, you can see the icon. You just want a straight line up just like that. And you hold it for a little until you see the player starts running. When the player starts running in, then you release it. It's, it's, it's kind of complicated because if you don't draw a straight line, then it won't work. So you have to just test out in the training ground. If you guys are having problem with the regular dipping free kick, this is the best solution for it. So the solution is basically for you to go over the wall, just a little bit over the wall because you know, technically a dipping free kick is one that goes up and goes down, right? So it goes up and then it makes a dip before it goes into the goal. So it doesn't matter how high it goes in as long as it goes in. So technically going over the wall and into the goal is a dipping shot. It's just not, it's not as pretty as the one that, you know, we all intended it for. And seeing that I know that drawing a straight line is very hard. This is the way to go until you learn how to master the other one. So all you do is aim between two defenders head or a little bit over the shortest one. And then you will get the ball in like this. As simple as that it does look sort of like a regular free kick but as you can see you go straight and it's basically dipping it goes over the defenders head or basically between their heads so technically it scores so this is what you can do for the time being until you basically learn how to exactly master the other dipping shot free kick for this is the same procedure as the dipping shot is just the type of play that you use so if the player has knuckle shot then it will work basically you most of the time you can't really control where exactly the ball goes but it's going to or where exactly it swerves because when you look at the stats each player knuckles differently or the ball knuckles differently for them so you may put in a certain position and the ball may knuckle in a totally different position so you just have to test out for yourself test out the speed of the swipes to really see which one is really deserved because sometimes it, it actually serves but it doesn't serve as much as usual so you don't even see it. bam 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 no but as you can see sometimes the ball decides to serve in sometimes it decides to serve out and that's what tricks the keeper but depending on where you serve it that might happen all right so guys i scored this long ball knuckle ball free kick basically it's a long free kick you guys tell me if you guys tell me if this is a free kick because I scored an iconic moment Cassius so you know that he's a very well good keeper. So I'm just gonna explain to you guys how exactly I scored this. So let's check it out. So basically I'm just gonna show you guys uh the basic motions that I did. So all you need to do is just do this. So when he goes up to take the shot, I need you guys when you're gonna take the shot, you just need to go up as fast as possible, just up as straight and as fast as possible so you need to just make it go up so it's like boom and as soon as he starts making a run watch this as soon as he starts making a run then you release it and then it will go in you see at the speed at which it is going and at the curl that it's going that's too much curl for the keeper to really save it you see for good free kick takers such as paul scholes 
Beckham, Roberto Carlos, even Adriano. You just need somebody with a lot of um, strength, as in kicking power, as well as good free kick ability. So make sure you check out the set pieces, like how much it's rated and stuff. You just need as straight as possible line. That will either make it curl or it will be a, a knuckleball um, free kick. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to do the curl free kick. So the curl free kick is actually the easiest type of free kick and it requires the least amount of skills. You can virtually do it with any single player. It doesn't matter the amount of curl that the player has. It doesn't matter anything at all. So all you have to do is position the ball a little bit further than the goalpost. So basically you're looking at the goalpost. This is the ball and you want to draw a line here from here to the top of the goal. But you want to do it at a moderate pace. So you're going to do it like this rather than don't do it slow and don't do it fast. I'll show you scenarios as to why so this is going to be a moderate one look at that goal just as that simple as that now i'm going to show you how to do it at a slower pace now doing it at a slower pace what actually happens well it you know it curled but it did not get where you actually wanted it to go and i'm going to show you what happens when you um do it at a fast pace now same positioning same everything just at a faster pace all right so this is what happens and it goes over the post so it has to be at a moderate it has to be at a moderate swing so you guys have to just make sure that you guys are doing it properly this is a bonus clip as i'm going to try and score this with sergio ramos on my first try so let's see what happens uh wow look at that just as it's as simple as that guys it doesn't matter which player you guys use so well, basically you guys can score free kicks just from the other side the just as i told you before as long really as you draw when, a line when you're trailing, this, from this the ball to the top of the ball the, the angle that you here. use is based Brazil! upon the amount of curl that your set piece taker has so if you're using messi your angle has to be wider than if you're using rashford or ozil in this case, you see me use Romanich. This is like an outside curler because he has the outside curl trait. Carlos, now I have to more set the angle towards the middle for it to go over the top beans because his curl is so powerful. So, as you can see, I do it here and this is from even further out. So, I can actually score long shots as well or long free kicks with Carlos. So, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. I'm out.